Hi, I'm Jerry, one of the keepers who takes care of the Vancouver Island marmots and the black-footed ferrets here at the zoo. Right now we are in the office of the marmot barn and we're looking at the video footage that we watch daily here. Um, every pen has a camera at the in the ceiling so it allows us during the hibernation period which is usually here at the zoo between somewhere um, from the start to middle of November and they until um, middle to end of March when they wake up and we watch here and we're, what we're looking for is if we see a marmot get up. We watch it for a couple of reasons. Um, one it's interesting to note how many times they're up if they're up too much that's a signal that they may be a little bit too awake and we may have to intervene and we've also just for interest sake we have noticed um, just a um, correlation between um, how long a hibernation is, how many times they get up, and breeding success. So if we want to go through a little system here, Let's see, and you can see, oh, somebody's either starting to come out. Oh, they're coming. Yep, yeah, I think they're. Um, we do have it on. Um, slow motion just to make sure that we don't miss anything but they'll come out and they'll have a drink of water move around a bit um, urinate and then they'll go back into their nest box once they do emerge from hibernation in march we start looking for breeding behaviors um, it just gives us an indication that there may be pups later on we look also to make sure that they're compatible and getting along and then um, we're not actually allowed to physically open up the lids to check them until we know for sure they either don't have pups or the pups are old enough because it's a little stressful on them opening up the lid. So we, this is a good way that we do monitoring to make sure um, that they're okay every day.